the the friendly country broadcaster Derek the friendly country broadcaster you referred to could not find support from the prime minister of that friendly country Tiruchi Shiva Yes yes you said so Thank you Mr Chairman sir Sir my uh, bear with my interventions they are not very long Sir article 87 of the constitution mm. provides that two instances the honorable president will address both the houses of the parliament one after a general election the first sessions and the first sessions of every year sir the president speech is nothing but it highlights the government's policy priorities and its plan for the upcoming year sir as a convention the motion of thanks to the president for her address to both houses of the parliament along with that i would like to thank her for that for having addressed and i would like to congratulate her for one reason sir she has read out the policy note of the government without omitting without deleting without including anything to her wish she has set a role model unlike uh, what has happened in the state of tamil nadu the executive head of the state the governor has done the president has the president has very very she has read out the speech as it was given to her so she has set a very good mo role model sir and i would like to thank and congratulate her sir it is 9 years this government has come to power in one more year they have to really look what has happened and we too go back and see what all have happened sir what has been in this country and what is now in this country is a very big thing to compare what has been diversity and inclusion was now adversity and exclusion <laughs> sir early, earlier it was unity now it is uniformity federalism and secularism are eroded free speech is undermined and sir dissent is criminalized in democracy dissent is a, one of the basic features as albert camus the french philosopher and the nobel laureate has observed that democracy is not the law of the majority it is the protection of the minority so so many apprehensions are looming on the linguistic and religious minorities in this country sir they are not just accusations we are leveling against what we have experienced all these years sir this uh, sir as um, this government to be very precise i could say it is an embodiment of pro rich policies and anti poor activities sir i would like to quote the president's address one or two by 2047 it starts we have to build a bharat which is self reliant and also able to fulfill its humanitarian obligations the bharat which has no poverty and where the middle class is also prosperous the bharat whose youth and women power will be at the forefront to give direction to the society and the nation and whose youth are well ahead of time sir what we understand so we have not realized all these things in the past years we are celebrating what you call that amrit kaal or something 75th year after independence we have not realized and this target is set for the next 25 years we boast that we are the fifth economic power in the country in the world but the situation is that poverty has yet to be eradicated and the middle class is to be proper, prosperous excuse me sir humanitarian obligations is yet to be realized let me say what all we have experienced in this country in this government sir number 1 petrol and diesel prices were hiked 78 times during this regime and 14 times only between this year and the government has earned a revenue of 8 lakh crore rupees between 2018 and 21 only 
through petrol and diesel prices high. And how it was spent, another thing comes. An RTI replied by the RTI, uh, an RTI replied to an RTI, very clearly says, 2 lakh crore bad loans were <coughs> waived off in 2020 and 21. So the total rate of, of loans over 11.6 lakh, most of which are only during these nine years. And for example, the, we are basically an aggregate threat. The BJP in its manifesto promised that the income of the farmers would be doubled. But what, I, what happened, it has not doubled. Rather, the price of DAP has increased from 1,200 to 1,350. The price of urea has not increased, but the quantity has been reduced from 50 kilograms to 45 kilograms. Sir, very sorry, sir. We are all very much shocked at the incident what happened in Turkey yesterday. An unexpected earthquake has taken away the lives of 4,500 people. We all, of course, expressed our grief. But in this country, sir, in 2020 only, 5,579 farmers have committed suicide. That is 15 farmers per day. Shame. We call ourselves an agricultural country. Sir, this country withstood their economic recession in the past and even now, only because of the agriculture sector and the public sector. These two are targeted by this country. All policies, all things that they are doing are in favor of only the pro-rich uh, people, that is the corporates. Sir, India's reserves have fallen down from 633.6 lakh billion, billion dollars to 545.6 as of 16th September 2022. Sir, what all has been done? The government has done all these things, but uh, ah, another thing, sir, the inflation, which is very, very important. Sir, in May 2022, the uh, Minister of Finance released a monthly uh, document, review document, which said that the inflation has lesser impact on the low income strata than that of the richest. Sir, it was during that time, the inflation reached the highest of 7.95%, which is 95 month high than ever before. And the rupee values depreciation, 80 rupees to a dollar. Sir, very, very, any person who does not know even much economics know very well that the depreciation of uh, any, the value of our money reflects on inflation, direct impact on inflation and the devastating ramifications will be felt only by the poor and the middle class. And we felt it. Sir, one more thing, sir, which would be shocking. They again say we are GDP going high and all. 40% of the wealth generated in this country is owned by 1% of the population. And only 3% of the wealth trickles down to 50% of the population. Sir, when the president address speaks much about women and youth, I'd like to say, women population has increased. Dr. Lakshman, who initiated, who moved the motion, said very proudly, and Javadekar, my friend, also told. And I would like to add to them one more. The enrollment of women in higher education is more than men, that is 27.9%. But the women employment has fallen down from 24% to 18%. Sir, in the world, India constitutes more youth population where, where unemployment prevails more. Sir, another thing as I would like to second my friend Mr. Derek who said that, quoting the president's address, the long felt urge to be rid of the scourge of mega scams and corruption in government schemes is now being realized. That's what everyone spoke. Mr. Digvijay Singh spoke. And he also said, sir, for the past three days, four days, the parliament didn't function. Of course, everyone felt, you felt very much for it. Sir, it was not deliberate. It is not our intention. We want the parliament to function smoothly. And the responsibility does not lie only with the opposition benches. It is also with the treasury benches. 
sir you observe to the rules sir you told that our notices were not in order you asked me to come and meet you in the chamber i met you you gave me some directions then i rectified it and sent a notice i didn't uh, receive anything whether it was in form or not up to your expectation leave alone sir our notices and your rulings what is the government doing should they not take cognizance of a big industry company that is adani which is being talked by the media that it is being discussed on tvs on papers and everything what is the government doing why should it not come forward when the situation is privatization and liberalization and it has impacted india economically and morally will not should not the government come forward and what we asked for a jpc joint parliamentary committee to go into the issue it's a process in the democracy why you are not for it why you are not able to do that so the government is not intent as he asked what is sebi doing what are the other uh, agencies doing that apart the government which has to come forward sir when we are asking for a jpc they should have met you in the chamber or coordinated with the opposition parties and said yes we can resolve the issue let the parliament see they cannot just go out and uh, meet the media and say uh, the, the, the opposition parties are eating taxpayers money they are not allowing the parliament to run it is not leveling accusation against us they should resolve the issues so the country is very much concerned about what has happened because of one corporate which is being supposed to have been favored many a time by the government so i think if at all we have to bring out something it it can be done only by an introspective into that by a jpc so that has been happening here and now we are telling this number of things which are happening and uh, sir the government has earned 4.86 lakh crores of rupees in 3 years by way of selling the public sector undertakings fully and partly 4.86 lakh crore rupees what for sir the public sectors are considered to be the temples of economy why are you so much concerned sir i'll tell you two examples i think yes within my uh, time so i i i have confined to myself there are two things that have not come to limelight one is videocon videocon is a well known company which has become bankrupt but it has borrowed rupees please honorable members honorable members i am talking about your government okay i am talking about your government please they don't bother sir whatever we speak they don't take parliament into serious consideration well, they don't they don't listen yeah, to yeah, they don't yeah, bother yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the first ever experience in all these two decades experience a party who doesn't bother about the parliament and the debates and the what observations made by the opposition how serious they are we are serious though i don't understand hindi i am listening to the translation and listen what they speak. please please confine to the subject How many disciples? Ah, please go ahead, sir. It has borrowed rupees sixty-five thousand crore to the tune of sixty-five thousand crore from various banks. So when it has become bankrupt, there no other go than to sell that organization and give it to the banks. Sir, the issue went to NCLT, National Company Law Tribunal, and it has adjudicated the case. In what manner? it has decided and uh, 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 said that it is can be sold to a twin star technology something it can something. be sir it can be nclt yes yes to be sold to an to a certain company if what i can tell the name this twin star technologies <laughs> which is a subsidiary company of uh, some other vedanta or something like that. that is not the concern you know for how much 3000 crore it is 65000 crore of loans to the banks but the nclt has said that it can be sold to 33000 rupees who is the sufferer the banks if the banks suffer either the bank is the government <coughs> should go to the rescue or the people will ultimately they will be paying for it then the banks appeal for it nclta appellate authority and it is withheld 
This is one thing. It is about a private organization, but the sufferers are the bank. Sir, another is CEL, Central Electronics Limited. Sir, very, very important one, sir. And uh, it earns a profit of 730 crore per year. This organization, CEL, earns a profit of 730 crore per year. And it has orders for more than 1,500 crore. And it has been sold to a private company, sir, for just 250 crore. Sure. Sure. It has an infrastructure, it has an asset of more than 440 crore. It pays a dividend profit to the government, 700 crore. And it has orders also, not that like some other uh, uh, organization, PSU, that they suffer because of orders. They have orders for 1,500. Why should it be sold? That to at this rate, just for 250 crores, sir, and the uh, company which bought has nothing to do with the electronics. That is a strange thing. It is only an interior decorated company who doesn't know electronics. Sir, kindly enlighten us. Let the government tell us. You are selling, you are coming to the rescue of a private organization and the banks are the sufferers. And now you are selling a profit-making public sector organization to a, I don't want to say, the, at a cost, which is not at all acceptable. So they are victimizing. Sir, let me conclude by one small interesting incident. There is a college, sir. There is? A college hostel. Hmm? Where in the canteen, every day, every day, Upma is being served, sir. Upma. The students. No cabinet minister. Good. Yes, Mr. Mr. Shivan, conclude. Conclude. We are used to this, Mr. Jai. We are please, used to all these things. Please conclude. Sir, no, you have to, sir. You have to protect us. The cabinet minister must be here. Some cabinet minister. Leave alone. Uh, sir, in a college hostel, listen, Derek. Yes, tell us Interest. about Upma. Every day, every day, Upma is being served. Sir, the students get agitated. They raise a hue and cry. Mm -hmm. They say, we don't want Upma. That, 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 all. So the warden finds no other option. He says, no, OK, I'll get your views. I'll conduct, you vote for what you want. And sir, that is very, very interesting, sir. I, and yes, everyone must be interested. Uh, because I should be perfect in the statistics. <laughs> the voting was counted, sir. 7% of the students have voted for bread and omelette. 13% have voted for puri. 18% for alu parata. 19% for masala dosa. 20% for idli. 23% for upma. Again upma. That is, that is, sir, 2019. Because all the students were not united. Different <laughs> opinions, <coughs> again Upma came to the canteen, sir. The sir, 24, sir, 24, sir, our leader, Mr. Stalin, is spearheading. We have all joined here and discussed. All the students will come together, sir, and Upma will be out of the canteen. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is, <laughs> we have to come together, and we are coming together. Sir, enough of what we had from your side. What we suffered because of demonetization. How you deprived the states of their rights and took the GST have suffered. Sir, one minute, sir. Just one minute. The people and the states. How federalism has been affected. All your laws, either draconian or anti-federal, anti-secular and anti-minorities. Enough of the apprehensions the linguistic and the religious minorities had in this country. When you were spending thousands of crores to enrich a language or to revive a language which is spoken or known only to a few thousand, that is Sanskrit, but you are victimizing classical languages, Tamil and other languages. Enough of everything. <coughs> Sir, 2024 will give a verdict. The franchise will be the gain, the situation that will change and it would be federalistic, protecting the secularism and upholding the constitutional values 
the countdown of this government has started. Thank you very much. <coughs> Sri Sanjay Singh.